Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to just give a big shout out to all my returning subscribers and viewers because I really appreciate y'all coming back in and helping my channel to grow. So I also want to give a warm welcome to any new viewers and subscribers. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. You can still follow me on social media, which the links are down below, but there will not be a list of everything needed for today's project because today what we are doing is I am going to go over some of the tools that I like to use or may not like as much, regret buying, whatever. I just want to give you a rundown of some of the tools that I really like and may not like so much, which I just said, sorry. <laughs> so let's jump right in and we'll get started with number one. So number one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the glue guns I like using. This one is my absolute favorite. I did a review of it on one of my videos. I can put the link down below. It has been about a year, probably more than a year, probably going on two years, I think it is, since I got this gun, and I still absolutely love it. It's part of the reason is because it is cordless. I'm sorry, my brain just fried. But another main reason why I enjoy this gun so much is when I'm using it, if I accidentally touch the glue, it does not burn my finger. Eventually it will get hot enough, but it takes quite a while to do that. And it's still not as bad as other glue guns I have used where as soon as it touched me, it's burned my finger. So I absolutely love this glue gun. So I have a backup glue gun I also use. And it is a Gorilla Glue Gun that I got off of, from Walmart. This glue gun that I love, I got off of Amazon. But this one is my backup. In, ugh, I can't even talk. In case my cordless dies, I don't have to wait for it to charge. I can just plug this in and use it. So I do enjoy using this gun too. And then my last glue gun is... One I got from Art Skills. It is a bigger glue gun. Sorry. I use this for my wood glue, hot glue sticks. Love it. Use it a lot. I'm sorry, I can't talk. But those are the three glue guns I use. And again, I mostly use my purple and pink one, my Carlos one, because it's just such a great glue gun. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Next set. group we're going to be talking about are the tools I use to cut with. So I use this utility knife. It's Fiskars. It might even be a crafting knife. I don't know what they call them. I call, I've call. i always called it box cutters. Okay so utility knife, box cutter, whatever. I got this from Michaels on sale and I love it. I use this one more than any of my other ones even though I do like my other ones. So this one I use a lot. Love it. Now I also got an X-Acto knife, which I got from Timu, and I do use this a lot also. So the other thing I got from Timu is this neat little, sorry, pin knife cutter, and I've used this quite a bit. It's really good for small, delicate areas. Now, I have three different size wire cutters that I use. I use these more than anything, but I have a medium size and a large size. I absolutely love using these, and I don't just use them for wire. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into something I don't like. These are also wire cutters. I have a pair that looks just like that, but has this handle. I don't like them. I regret buying them. They're supposed to be the same product, but they don't work anywhere near as good as my old ones, so I'm going to have to continue looking for ones that I like better. So, and I got these from Walmart. I feel like they're hyper tough, and I think these should be too. But the ones that look like this, I do not like for crafting. I will not use them again. So, I have miter shears that I use quite a bit when I'm cutting wood. These I got off of Timu, and I absolutely love them. I got another pair that I got off of Walmart. 
I think these are the ones I got off Team M. These might have been the ones I got off Walmart. Don't let me lie to you. I can't remember anymore. But these are the second pair I got. I have another pair of miter shears. I don't know where I put them, but I don't like them. They were not sharp, I think. I just need to sharpen them, I think. But these came sharp, and they even came with an extra blade. So I got to remember, I thought these came from Timo, but these might have came from Walmart, a third party off of Walmart.com. So, and I, I love those. Now, I use scissors a lot, and these I got from Walmart. They're Fiskars. I love them. They're sharp. They took a chunk out of my skin on my finger. I had to get stitches. Love them. Need new pair, but I did buy a new pair. I bought a pair of Westcott. I got these from Dollar Tree. I do not like these. These I regret buying. I don't know why. I just don't like them. So those are the different cutter tools that I like to use and the ones I regret buying. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the little different tools that I use, like rulers and pencils and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and get her. This is one of my favorite rulers because it is clear and it's hard plastic, so it doesn't bend. And I, I like the fact that it's clear because I can see through it to make sure I got it lined up right. So this is one of the ones that I absolutely love using. Now. This tape measure I like to use because once you lock it in place it doesn't go anywhere. I have not used it a lot for crafting yet because I just found it. The one I used to use is this hyper tough six foot one. I don't like it as much because there's no way to lock it in place. But I did use this quite a lot too. So those are some of the tools I do like. So. Um, I use my screwdriver fairly a fair amount of time. I'm sorry, I, I just cannot talk today, y'all. I like to use this when I use my drill, and I like I like old school. I don't want one that turns for me because I have enough problems at times. I just want one that works just regular. Now, this is a makeup tool. It's a silicone piece. I like using it with my glue guns because. Yes, it does have some hot glue, some glue on it still, but for the most part, the hot glue does not stick to it. So you can use it to press stuff down when it's really thin and you don't want to burn your finger. And for the most part, it doesn't stick. Now, what I don't like that I bought for the glue gun is these finger things. And this is, this is truly just a personal I don't like it because as you can see, I'm not a small person and it doesn't really fit on my thumb too well and so I end up not using them so I feel this was a waste of money for me now I do let my cousin use it when she comes but I just feel like this was a waste of money for me so I use my pencil a lot and I just use a regular pencil now these picks I use I absolutely love them Sorry. They are from Cricut and I love them and they work very well not just to take off vinyl. I have used them for many things and I love it. Now one thing I do regret buying that is a Cricut tool because I just never use it is this I call it a spatula. Really don't know what it is. Never, every time I try to pry something off with it it tries to bend it so I don't use this. I regret buying it. So, another thing is these clamps. I love, love, love these clamps. And when I remember I have them, I use them. I like that I have something to clamp things together to hold when I'm gluing. I wish they had all different kinds of shapes that I had to help with that. Now, these I have not used yet, but I'm fairly optimistic about it. It is a quarter clamp. And... You just put the stuff in between and you hold it and that's where you glue it. So I am very optimistic about this. Or you can go ahead and glue it first and go ahead and clamp it on it to help hold it together. So I think these will work great. I have not had a chance to use them yet because I completely forgot about them. So that's my next group.
So the next thing we're gonna talk about are like the tools that I really, that I use and some of the storage stuff. So, I absolutely love my Cricut Joy. I didn't want to pull it out, so I just thought I'd pull up a picture. Any Cricut's probably really great, but I love my Cricut Joy. So I use that a fair amount of time, and I love it. Now, I use my drill a lot too. It is something that I think just helps with making some of my crafts more sturdy because I can drill the hole and put screws in it or if I need to make a hole to put something in I have this to do it so this is something else that I absolutely love to use now one of the things that I don't like and it's not that I don't like the product I'm sorry I just dropped my phone is I got this rotary tool and I'm still learning so I'm not perfect at it but this is a regret of buying it because I bought it clearance and it's broke so someone brought it back broke and got their money back so that is a regret I have and it was only because it was broke so be weary when you buy clearance make sure it does work sorry now I'm gonna show y'all some little t um, storage solutions that I absolutely love these came from Walmart. They have some at Michael's also. I like them. They they you hear it click and shut. So you know it's that it's um not gonna just pop open. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of what it's secure, that's what it's called. You know it's secure. Now these came from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love them. They even have sandwich size ones that I'll get. You hear how good it clicks? It is secure. It is not coming out. Love it. Now these I do not like as much. They have white, blue, I think they have black ones, and then they have pink ones. For the most part, as you can see, it doesn't come out, but it's not as secure. Look how easy that comes off. And if you have some heavy stuff in there and it falls, or even if it just falls, it might pop open and all your stuff is all over and you gotta clean up. So these are a regret of mine just because they're not as secure as I would like. So I don't like these. I will still use them because I bought them, but I don't like them. So y'all, that is just some things. So that was it for this video. That was just, I just want to show y'all a few things that I like to use while crafting. I will do some more videos of maybe more, instead of just a broad range, like different glues I like to use and don't like to use, you know, stuff like that. I will do that later on. But I just wanted to give y'all a broad range of just some different tools that y'all might, that I absolutely loved or did not like that y'all might want to look into doing for crafting. So I had fun doing this video. I really, really enjoyed it, and I hope y'all did too. And if you like it, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does have my channel to grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.